Good morning everyone, it's around 10.40 right now and we're just gonna head out to go get the posset that we didn't get yesterday and go get a shoe rack and I'm just gonna hit the gym in the afternoon so nothing really exciting Nothing really exciting Nothing really exciting for the day today but uh, yeah It's so foggy again today it was like even more foggier than this one, just a few minutes ago. You couldn't see anything. It was just like that, basically. So yeah, but you can still see the sun a little bit. Not too bad. We're finally heading out now. Uh, as usual. I didn't bring the stick anymore. It's in my way a lot of the time, so I'm just gonna hold this. It's easier. So I'm just wearing the same turtleneck, same coat with just running shoes. I basically just grabbed whatever I can put on like in two seconds. And it's okay. So yeah, peace. Having my coffee of the day. Addicted to coffee. So we ended up getting the set. <laughs> and today was um, the original price that we saw yesterday. So around 280, 289 actually. And then today's additional no tax event, so additional 12%. So yeah, I think we snatched a good deal. So, so now we're on our way to get the shoe rack. Shoe rock! Shoe rock! So yeah, that's all we came to LA for. We're not here for shopping. Just getting the pot set. So this happened today. I'm going to switch it up. Probably from the next vlog, you guys will see a better quality video. Oh uh, yeah, and I'll do an unboxing of this one as well. So you guys can see what's inside. So before I get into the unboxing of this camera, I kind of want to share with you why I got this camera and what sold me on this one specifically. There are three uh, points why, I, actually four maybe, I want to share with you guys. First point is that the camera I am using, Sony, it's a Sony Nex 6. It's a four to five year old camera now, so I just want it an update from that and just better video quality. Another thing about the Sony Nex 6 is that it the screen does flip but it only flips halfway because it has a viewfinder. So whenever you guys see like cutoffs of my head or anything like that, it's because like I have no way to monitor myself. Plus I don't have like an app or anything on my phone to monitor for uh, when I'm shooting like these kind of sit down videos. So I really needed one of those. So this one does flip up, which is a big plus point for me. Second point is that I was debating between this one and another camera known as the Canon Rebel SL2, I think. Also known as the Canon 200D. So that one is not a mirrorless camera, it's a DSLR. I was asking the person in the store uh, about like what's his opinion on this and he said that uh, this camera is actually a miniature version of the, uh, what do you, the Rebel, it's the Rebel series too. The Rebel, I think T7i was the camera. Yeah, so both of those, so the 200D and the T7i are DSLR cameras and this one is a mirrorless camera. I really wanted to get something that I can vlog, uh, both vlog in and do like proper video for uh, a future main channel, so look out for that. So that's why he suggested me to go for this one. And then the third point is, of course, the most important point, which is the price point. This camera was originally around a thousand, a little bit over a thousand dollars, but till today it was discounted for 350 bucks. A big selling point for me because here in BC the tax is like 12%. So there is a 14 day price protection uh, for this camera. So if anything goes 
um, below what I bought this for in 14 days, then I can get the difference refunded to me. Bought another uh, lens filter. I didn't have one of this for my Sony camera because I thought, eh, there was no point. But since I'm getting a much better camera and newer, I wanted to at least have some protection to it. 3,000 years later. Yeah, I'm just going to open this baby. <sighs> oh, and by the way, I think there were other colors of the body, but I got silver and black. The one, the one I'm filming right now, the Sony one, is just all black. It doesn't have any other color, but this one has like a silver rim on it. And it's just paper, paper, starting manual. Just like super, super thick. I think I should actually take the time to read through this because I'm a newbie. I don't know anything about cameras. So, battery. And then, oh, so before I say that, so the box, inside the box looks like this. The strap, the typical Canon strap. I really like this. I would, whenever I see this, I feel like I'm professional, but it's all not true. Yeah, but the Canon strap. And then, this is, oh, this is the lens. Actually, I'm gonna open that one. Uh, the charger, of course. Oh, and another thing about uh, batteries is that for the Sony one, I lost both the charger and the battery in Korea. So I had to get a new battery for the Sony camera. And yeah, the charger was just gone. I didn't bother to get another one. So yeah, I finally have another charger for the new camera. So, yeah. so here comes the lens. Oh, and one more thing, I don't know anything about lens too, so yeah, sorry, I'm not going to explain, but this is just the standard lens that comes in the kit. So yeah, this is the lens, and apparently it's a 14 to 45 millimeter lens. Is that what you call it? I don't know. Ooh, yay! So yeah, this is the body. And I might get like a clear protective film for this on Amazon and just general tripod and all the accessories on Amazon. So, yeah. And that's that. There's nothing much more in the box. And I'm just gonna put the battery in, see if it turns on or not. Like this. And since I'm filming right now, I can't put the memory card in here yet. doing that I'm just gonna I'm just gonna open the the filter that I got and just put it on just in case oh yeah it's the other way new So, so this is the camera, like a close-up of the camera. Oh, and one more thing about it. My Sony camera has maybe like focusing problem now. So yeah, it won't focus when it's too close anymore. That's why I hope this one is perfect for that. I believe so. So yeah, this is attached to the lens as well. It does have some weight to it. So it's not as light as my Sony camera, but it will do since it's newer, it looks good. And then the strap that came with it. And then just the, the charger that comes with it as well. And then just the caps. I'm gonna keep this, like keep it safe. Look how, it, how I was filming. I literally was just putting my camera on that. I need a proper tripod. And now, I'm just gonna turn this on. So yeah, I'm gonna quickly do that and show you guys how it looks inside. Okay, noob time. Something like this came out. To fully use the camera, push and hold the switch in up direction, then rotate to unlock. I have no idea what that means, but I'm gonna figure it out. Okay, noob, I finally figured it out. <laughs> I had to basically unlock, I don't know if you guys can see, 
I like unlock this part of it to make the lens come out so then I can rotate this. So yeah, that was that. It was dumb of me. So yeah, now you can see me. This flips up and it's also touch screen. So yeah, I'm gonna play with this bad boy and attach the string onto it. And yeah, that's all for the unboxing. I hope you guys liked it even though I was so bad at it. But yeah, I'll update you how I feel about it. 80,000 impressions later. That's pretty much uh, what happened. And I guess the most exciting part is getting the new camera. I'm just gonna go eat now. I'm just gonna hit the gym with little sister after. So yeah, I guess that's it for the day. And I'm just gonna end this vlog right here. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.